I already like it, DKS. I've already taken a look and wrote a bit of a scenario for it. Right, so, excuse the fact that it's a Rio Grande train, I kind of just randomly clicked on something, not knowing what was appropriate. So, this is the uh, Old Forest Division. Uh, DKS, is this a real route? I think it's fictional, isn't it? So, scenery goes up to about there, and uh, you've got this area here. We've got some yards and stuff over here. Our scenario is going to take us down here, we're going to reverse and get some wagons, freight cars. Uh, pull here, reverse and get some more freight cars run down through this yard, we're going to curry on down here. <clears throat> we'll have a fly around this area so you can see this. Originally I had the scenario planned to go through there but it made it an hour and a half. Um, carry on round down here and then we are going to get into here and then park up in there. So that essentially is, is, the, is the route. just down here. Fine Scotsman, will the workshop routes I showcased tonight be uploaded to YouTube tomorrow? No, I won't be able to, I won't have time to uh, get them all um, uploaded and thumbnailed ready for uh, going up. Um, tomorrow I think already has stuff scheduled. Let me just check. I can't remember how far into this week I was, I'd already pre-scheduled. the older ones. Let me just check. Yes, tomorrow are three of the older videos, um, Flying Scotsman. It's the Hamburg Lubeck 474, Riviera Fear in the 50s pump car. Do you remember the Punisher? And um, Sherman Hills uh, on UPSD 40 2. So those are those old scenarios are what's going to go be. Um, Published tomorrow on YouTube. <clears throat> right, so we're carrying on through. We need to stop at the siding. I think I speed. Wow, that signal works. <laughs> oh no, Lubeck is the 23rd, so 22nd of June. Is it 22nd of June tomorrow? It is, isn't it? Yeah, so 22nd of June is... Um, the Sherman Hill and the Riviera and 50s. Right, we're going to get crossed over into that siding in, in a moment. Good night, Ninja Joker. Thanks for stopping in. As a general hint, DKS speed, when you place in trees like this, 
Um, if these are individual assets, firstly you should use the block asset tool. If they're the block asset tool, there's parameters to randomize them. If you're placing them individually, if you press the button to place and then hold it and move it, it'll rotate it. Which means that you can you can you can see where you've got this line that's visible down here because the trees are all in the same direction. Oh, I know why. It's because these are billboards. Okay, now ignore that. There's nothing you can do about it if they're billboards. <coughs> Right. Oops. Now we want to go back up here and collect me freight cars. Oh no! Ah, oh, this isn't going to work because the instruction is to uh, couple to the other side of the train. So I can make it work, I have a Y in front of me, which means I need to go that way and then reverse back in again like that, there we go. I didn't realise I'd placed the trains um, that way round, I forgot which way it was forward. <laughs> See you later, Jam. There's a problem when you quickly throw a scenario together and don't even test it. <laughs> you can't get the low codes on the Riviera line in the 50s pack to display head codes. Just press the H key multiple times and it should cycle through them. Instead of H to turn the headlights on and off, it's, you just keep pressing H and you get all the different seekers. Um, uh, all the different uh, head codes, 14 of them, I think. <coughs> MK Dons, um, yes, this is these the GP9, these, these Rio Grande ones come in the Soldier Summit route. Oh, for AI trains. Oh, I'm not sure about AI trains. Must be possible. Uh, it's probably done with setting the number. drive the Amtrak. <coughs> Didn't even think about running Amtrak to be honest. It looked like it was stuff I could do with freight so I thought I would do freight. <coughs> uh, at Captain Jenks, what I would suggest is open up a scenario um, that's you know, one of the ones that comes with it, double click on the loco and find out what uh, number it is uh, and see if there's any letters in it. Or anything extra that's not actually the loco number and then that might give you a clue as to what you need to set. I know I'm overspeeding, stop panicking. B. Harrison, can you ask a question driving using the HUD controls? Of course you can. That's fine, Flying Scotsman, thanks for uh, highlighting them for me. would be appropriate. Uh, are there any couplings on that? We've got 
stop. <laughs> There's no coupling, just don't look too hard. Right, let's change the switches. We now carry on the next part of the route. We need to go back down this way. <coughs> We are stopping at Roman. Roman Yard. There you go. That's it. We're all sorted for that now. Does this scenario come with a route? No, Daniel Cohen of America. I, I've written this scenario just for tonight. I wouldn't recommend it, to be honest. It's a very ropey scenario. <laughs> the goal is to see the route. Most of the scenarios I've been running tonight are ones I've just knocked up so that we can look at the route. Um, two of them, the two Hey Joe scenarios, they are on Workshop. You can download those. So while we're going down this way, there is another line over here somewhere. So we we um, turned off. That's where we started in there. So this is the other part of the line. No, it isn't. I'm talking rubbish. Completely lost now. Down here. Sorry, this is where we started. And we've got the main line. This is, the, I think, the main line here. So we carry on, it goes all the way down here, and we eventually rejoin it. Where we're going to be going is going to be joining back up. There's some switches that um, come in from where we are down here a ways. So we'll be there shortly, but that's what that's what we're missing. We're not going to be looking at the um, the uh, this bit along here. We're going to come down and join the main line here. DKS, is this route marked final or is it still marked work in progress? I.e. can people upload scenarios for it? When am I going to get Truckers MP? I don't know. I'm, I'm enjoying the single player game at the moment. I'll get into the multiplayer later on. mile an hour now, we're in the big leagues. You know, I'll tell you another thing, DKS, that would be um, a, neat, a neat trick to try if you're up for experimenting a bit, is the... Um, have a look at... Um, Majestic Falls and about the way the track bumps and, um, and rumbles around. That feels like that would be really appropriate for this. It's got that sort of old, sort of somewhat neglected um, feel to it.
Well, I mean, Britannica, I'm not planning on putting any mods in, any much in the way of mods into um, the trucking games until I've sort of, I've got a way into them. I mean, I've only just started playing with them. Um, can't see the point in customising something I've barely even started playing. And we're going to get a coast to coast mod. I'll just totally take a look at it. I'm going to look at Pro Mods and Rust Map on ETS. Um, Because I was too lazy to put a marker in. <laughs> Go a bit further forward than we really ought to. What does it mean when you find it on Steam and you can't buy it? I don't know, MK Dons. What is it you're trying to find and what is it saying? Things like the Scania T mod I really want to look at, but if it doesn't let me go through Tolm Tolmans, that's a, a problem. Uh, not yet, Dave, but I will do. Right, now we are going to the scrapyard to pick up three scrap cars. MK Dons, uh, this GP9 in particular, I'm sure this has been um, Soldier Summit. Don't think it's in the GP9 pack. Can you? Is it? Uh, have a look in Soldier Summit. Or is it not letting you buy Soldier Summit either? Shows us diverting. Hey there, Tyrant One. Good to see you, mate. Over there. 
driving through the bushes here by the looks of it. So before we move off, let's just have a quick look around here. So this is the scrapyard. It's quite a nice scrapyard, actually. I quite like that. Uh, and then as we come down here, we have more stuff going on. Oh, I can't get over there. So there's more sidings and so forth going on um, down here. And then you've got more sidings and stuff. This is the auto rack area. But in the meantime, let's go. Train spotting on Liverpool Manchester. Is there a scenario? Um, is there a scenario in the um, in the schedule for um, Liverpool Manchester train spotting? There's a, I know there's a Chatham mainline um, train spotting one that I want to do. So maybe we'll do a bit of train spotting. Train spotting special. Matt doesn't have to do a thing for a whole stream. Oh, I'm liking that idea. <laughs> do you have any tips on how to brake smoothly what kind of train are you driving B Harrison because it matters which train you're driving because it feels weird watching someone playing here yeah. <laughs> I can imagine Like when I write software and somebody else uses my software, and I'm like, oh, don't press that, oh, don't do that. Well, obviously, if you press those two buttons, it's going to crash. Right, I need to make sure our junctions, are, switches are set for us to go. get out, all is good. So I'm going to pull it through the bypass line. That gets us through Roman Yard. Just the same way watching someone play a scenario, yeah, I can imagine. Speed up, it's not going to work unless you speed up. Speed up, oh no, going too fast now. Oh uh, dear. Seventeen miles to the end. Eighty-six scenario on Thursday. Let me make a note of that ag sig. I 
am going to try and sort something like that out by some of it spliffing um, and get the um, the audience more involved in choosing what happens. Joshua, creating a train spotting scenario for Liverpool to Manchester. Sounds interesting. Steam or EMU? So the thing to remember is that if you're driving a steam engine, it's usually manually um, lapped, which means that you need to move it into the apply step and release step and so forth. Um, so have a look at one of my tutorials on how to actually do braking on a steam engine. Sorry, uh, uh, yeah, braking on a steam engine. So you move it to apply, watch the pressure come down, and then move it back to running. <clears throat> Let's have a quick look at this yard. Quite a large yard here. This is Roman yard. Quite nice, nice road there. Little things like roads, I think, add a lot of plausibility to environments. It's like stations in the middle of nowhere without a car park, there's no town nearby, why would you need a station there? You know, it's, um... What's the best video editing? The best video editing program, well, Dovetail will use Premiere, uh, the, the Premiere Pro, is it? Something like that? Um, I use um, Sony Movie Studio, which I find perfectly adequate. I'd like to get Vegas, but I haven't got 300 quid. Rail driver you can get on um, Amazon MK Dons. Right, we're on the main line, got the platform there. there. The thing that turns me off that class 86 on the north uh, on the um, North London line, Francois, is it's described as having something like a 10 minute wait in it. Doesn't seem like that would be particularly interesting to watch. Nice big bridge over here. go too fast because I want to be able to take in the scenery and look around and also we've got the junction coming up we've got another Y coming up in a minute and we can I'm gonna try if I can get the camera around here I don't know if I'll be able to get it that far though That's a good point, Gouger, actually. That's a very good point. I need to give the scenario a run and uh, and see how I get on with it. Typical green light now. It's a fabulous route, this DKS. It really is. Clearly a lot of work gone into it. So this is where the um, the route off to the um, the coal mine disappears. It's essentially a merry-go-round. Um, so the trains go in, run through the loader, and then come straight back out again.
doesn't come with what you've got. This is it's just this bit. Yeah, it's not not the yellow button. It, it's just this bit. None of this stuff. That's extra stuff that I've added. A mini vid actually is not a bad idea. that actually yeah this this bit here is the rail driver this stuff is um, other controls but these stuff this stuff doesn't actually work with the game without the software I've written and can't distribute do I think Premiere Pro is a pain to use I've never used it I don't use it I can't afford 500 quid for a movie editing software um, let's have a look see if I can get to this uh, coal mine doesn't look like it so the coal mine's just over there <laughs> it's quite nice actually. I had a wander around there earlier on. I know that um the people at work who do the movies they they they, they seem to get on with it very well and produce some good stuff with it, so I really like movie studio. Sony Movie Studio is fabulous. I used to have use um Pinnacle Studio, but it was so slow. Um, whereas um, Vegas is it's not Vegas movie studio is just instant in comparison it's amazing and a lot cheaper I paid something like 90 quid for um, Pinnacle Studio who was the ultimate edition and uh, movie studio was um, I think 30 quid they do have a reasonable discount on Vegas for movie studio studio owners but it's still too rich for my blood. I can't justify it. Vegas Movie Studio does most of what I want. No, I didn't. I, I started off sort of getting the hang of Pinnacle Studio, and then it just annoyed me, and I didn't want to make videos anymore. So I, uh, when Movie Studio came out on Steam, I thought I'd give it a go, and um, I haven't looked back. speed up a bit. <clears throat> so we're running down through here. Am I playing 60 FPS? I'm getting... 60, 70 FPS actually on the game, but I'm only streaming 30 FPS. Until I can get reliable transcoding through being a Twitch partner, I want to just try and I want to make the stream more accessible to everybody. So I've cut the bitrate down and I've dropped the stream rate to 30 FPS. I bought mine on sale BNSF, it was half price. I think normally it's about 70 quid and I bought mine at 34.99 if I remember rightly, so you might find it's on sale. I don't know whether if it will be, I've got no access to that information, but um, I would certainly take a look and see if it is. Favourite workshop route that I've looked at tonight? Well, that's tricky, that's tricky. one of the Hey Joe routes, probably the second Hey Joe route actually I think, Middleton just because it's so rich and deep and there's so many different things you can do <coughs> Can't be free, summer, uh, summer sale uh, don't, I think that starts pretty soon it's not on yet though looks like a military cemetery.
I know I'm not doing 14 L's. Everyone can shout at me now. Still waiting on the egg seed special. Yeah, we should do one of those actually. Gal just got a new train spotting scenario out soon. Oh, have I missed one of yours, Gauger? Have you got one out that I haven't run yet? Because that would be an unacceptable situation, and I would need to rectify that. And the branch route is probably my. I, that was it was it was branch route and Middleton that I was struggling with because branch route is just so beautiful, um, uh, whereas Middleton is more operationally interesting. made a note to look. Trim the speed down for 35. A ribbon. Nice. I like the way the ground is packed with different vegetation, different types of the trees are in there. It doesn't look like a flat billboard, which is one of the main problems I have with a lot of routes, is you know, when you end up with lots of this flat uh, and not the, um, the nice population of ground vegetation. Because in reality, it's never flat like that. I'm not picking holes in this bit, I'm just an example. Sometimes the entire route is like that in, in some routes, and it just immediately spoils the uh, image. So we're going past it. Let's take a look at the uh, at this this on here. So we've got some more sidings over here, and we've got some more industries and things that you can switch cars into. All well, sorts of fun on this route. Thanks, B. Harrison. I don't put um, screenshots on the, um, except for the ones that I take anymore, um, just because um, it makes life very difficult. Because I have to make sure they're all licensed, using licensed content and so forth. Um, and uh, that's a lot of work. 
<clears throat> and I can't afford to get it wrong either. Have I always been interested in railways? Yeah, since I was very young. Uh, it's always on my dad's fault. Um, I did, as is typical, when you become a teenager, you become less interested in railways. So really, it's train simulation. I've always been interested in model railways, but not, you know, at the um, extreme end. But um, it was train simulation that really sort of fired the interest back up again, back in sort of 1998, 99. <coughs> um, as the new simulators from Oran and Microsoft were being developed and talked about. <coughs> Go through another town. Nice town, this actually. It's nicely done. Our summer been spliffing. The problem with Thomas the Tank Engine is licensing. Licensing, licensing, licensing. <laughs> By the time they'd taken their cut, no one would else would get any money out of it, so it's pointless. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> a bit of a grain car, or a bit of a hopper sat there doing nothing. That's why I don't put people's screenshots on. Yeah, Flying Scots, and that's, that's the reason I don't put people's screenshots in there anymore. I was told by uh, Dovetail that, and quite rightly, that because of my position at Dovetail, I need to still maintain the licensing um, and make sure that we're not. I'm not showing things that I shouldn't be. So, therefore, as to, again, the screenshots can only be official Steam DLC. Which means I'd have to go through and vet every single one of them and check them and double check them and then have an entire database of everything we've ever made. And yeah, I don't do too bad. I can recognise whether most times other things are wrong, but I can't guarantee to get it right. So the easiest thing is if I only do my own screenshots. Yes, I know Chris Train's properly licensed. Well aware of that. Spoken to Chris many a time. Tyron 1, I'm afraid um, you'll have to wait for Dovetail to talk about TS 2017. Right, that routes us in, and then we'll be routed right away through there. Yeah, we've done alright on viewers tonight, haven't we, Francois? And it stayed above 100 for a, a good um, three or so hours. use of assets to um, lift the track off the ground even though the um, terrain won't mesh won't deal with it. Mr. A320 Master, you're in the UK watching, excellent.
Lee Harrison, you watched all 20 parts of the charity stream. Fantastic. It was fun doing it. Oh, this is nicely done. I like this. The place looks alive. Uh, clearly, something going down over here. Is that Some digging construction work going on there? I like seeing these little sort of bits of life in routes. It's really cool. I know there's a couple. There was a route on MSTS that had yeah, all sorts of little bit, little set pieces around the route, like someone who'd been pulled over for um, speeding and a police car and so forth. And playing field over there as well. Yeah, old base, baseball field. Very nicely done. Very nicely done indeed. I like. Right. Now. I run around the outside here. That should get us into the right place. Oh, I can well believe that took a while to be the <laughs> off the main line now we're heading into the yard it seemed like a uh, a reasonable place to end the scenario Double red, but it's not letting me tab it, so I'm assuming it's not really there. No, it's not really there, look. <laughs> it's not connected to the track. Excellent. Sidings now. 
Oops. Just making sure that the line is set through. Excellent. Again, we've got trucks over there, which makes it all look a bit alive. See you later, Exig. Alright, we should be getting to uh, our uh, stopping point shortly. Yeah, come around here. It looks good, Dickheus. It's looking busy and industrial. See you later, trolley fodder. end of that my little scenario on this route so that is the final route that you see old forest division by DKS speed thanks for that uh, DKS speed I really enjoyed that little run actually very good there's some real highlights on that route Who 
boom, all finished. Right then, folks, it is seven minutes to midnight in the UK, so it's time for bed. Thanks very much, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed our little um, workshop special. Um, we started out, just to remind you, with Southwestern Borderline, which we ran the, uh, a train on. Then we ran the milk float round, you know, because milk float. North Yorkshire.